my first vessel was a canoe and I borrowed 15 pounds from my father to buy it, did it up, had a year of fun with it and sold it to pay my father back. Colin was brought up on the west coast of Scotland so he's spent many happy years here and since I've known him I've been able to share that. Then when we were students we built a boat together, a small boat, which we raced and cruised on the west coast. And we're now sailing on an Oyster 68. She's a very seaworthy vessel, well designed, well built, a well found vessel as they say. Somebody once described it as she has the atmosphere of a comfortable country house afloat, <laughs> <laughs> which we quite like. I particularly like the fact that we're in our own little world when we're out in the water. We escape from the realities of the real world and people on board all work as a team together and we go and visit exciting places, harnessing the wind and enjoying lovely sunsets and all sorts of interesting places we go to. It's always a happy time of the day when the sailing's finished and we're round the table with a bottle of wine and a glass of whiskey and we can relive the day's adventures. Quite good fun. All good fun. The most important thing to bring with you on a sailing holiday is your sense of humour. There's the wildlife and there's the scenery. There is the spectacular landscapes, the seascapes, from the cones of sky to the beaches of the west coast of Paris and Lewis. We sail out to St Kilda, up to Orkney, Shetland, down to Isla. The variety is infinite and every island has its own character that we enjoy. And we've been sailing for 40 years, we've yet to visit and uh, explore every nook and cranny. Sailing on the west coast of Scotland and the Hebrides offers an amazing variety of anchorages, of wilderness, wildlife and scenery and even the culture as well, the history. There's so much here that we love, we enjoy and we enjoy sharing with others that come with us. The west coast of Scotland is regarded by many as the, the connoisseurs cruising ground because there are wonderful anchorages, wonderful scenery, no matter what the weather you've always got somewhere that you can sail to and we, love, we, we have a passion for the, for the passion for west coast and the islands and we love sharing that with yeah. our guests.
come on board and we all start as strangers but by the end of a trip you've had so many shared experiences and good memories that you bond and you become part of the Indian Shadow family.